you want some Coca Cola? Oh. I am thirsty. Let's go. No, I'm kidding. That's gasoline. Welcome to another day in Chagao. We are here. Oh, hey, hey, friends oh. just arrived. Perfect timing. Okay, so these are our friends that we're exploring the island with. Uh, I'm Joel. I'm from Northern Ireland. My name's Brayden. I'm from Vancouver Island, the best place in BC or Canada. I'm just happy to be here. Justin from South Africa, my man. How you doing? Cool. Hey, I'm Patrick from Thailand. Yay. Hey. We're just going to hop on our motorbike, start driving across the island. Have a good time. Of course, we're taking you with us, so let's go. We're gonna keep our bikes off and see who rolls the furthest, but we should all start at the same spot, you know? Right. Three, right. two, one, let's go! Whoa! <laughs> start. Steve, come on, come on! <laughs> gotta get low, gotta get low! <laughs> Third place. Oh, second place. Second place. Oh, second place. Oh, second place. Oh, I liked your movement though. You tried. And the winners. <laughs> the champions. It's all the camera yes. equipment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most aerodynamic bike here. So now we are at the famous palm tree jungle road where everyone stops to take photos. I think it's our turn to stop to take some photos. Nailed such a cool little driving sequence in the three bike formation down this road. That was pretty epic. That was fun. Hey! <laughs> We're here at Taeyang Ban Cave. We're caving because it's raining out, so it seemed like a good time to go underground. We are thinking about going to the waterfall, but we stopped here first because like Pema said, it's raining. So, perfect time to go in the cave. Oh, kind of broke the GoPro. And she fixed it. Yay! I'm independent. I'm a strong, independent woman who has a 100% battery. Coco! Oh, hey! You're so cute. Hi. How much is it? 90 pesos per person. 90 pesos per person. Six, five forty. So then it's good. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. Entry fee is 90 pesos per person. And I think we're also going to get a guide and you should tip your guide as well. From here on out, we're leaving this camera behind, taking the GoPro. Water is nice and cold. What you guys think of that? Oh, that was great. That was so cool. I've been in a few caves before, like when I was in Thailand, but I mean, th those are awesome, don't get me wrong. But this was super fun. That was not a different experience. Yeah. yeah. Going through the, the water, and the guides were so cool. So that was a, a lot of fun, jumping off the little rocks at the end. Adventurous, more adventurous, and you're like, whoa, I should have to trek through this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right? Yeah, I was okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't actually know where my foot's going, but I'm just put there. That was a lot of fun. So now that I think slogan, right? So it's more fun in the Philippines. That's what yeah. it's about. So Where now, are we going next? What time is it? I think it's time to put some yum yums in these tom toms. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> time for some lunch. Let's do it. It is time to put some yum yums in these tum tums. Let's do it. 
Okay. So we are here now at J Cot restaurant. It's in Talar. What do we get, Pema? We got a sizzling pork sasik and chicken adobo. Thank you. Salama. <laughs> we are on our way to Mapunko finally before the sun sets. And you know what? It's almost about to be low tide, so perfect timing. The ladies let me borrow a fork for me to finish eating my instant noodles on the road. Pema wasn't quite full enough, so we had to get some noodles to go. <laughs> You're gonna be able to eat that on the bike? Yes. All right. Question. Let's do it. Good dude. Thank you. So now we came to a place called Magpapunko, and this is Magpapunko. Say. Magpapunko. <laughs> All right. Apparently, I can't say it pro properly. So let's let the local Filipino say it. I'm not local. I'm just saying it's not Magpapunko. What is it? Magpapunko. 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 <laughs> Pema always makes fun of me when I try to pronounce things with a local accent. Magpapunko. Or if I don't pronounce things. So either way, I get made fun of. Magpapunko. Oh, there's a happy medium between Magpapunko and Magpapunko. <laughs> Alright, sorry. We are now at a place called Magpapunko. Magpapunko. How's that? And this is a place that's very well known for their tide pools, which are right over there. You can't actually come here during high tide, they close it because it's not safe. But when the tide goes out, you, whoa, ow. When, it, when the tide goes out, there reveals a tide pool. So that's where we're walking to right now. And it's funny because they're about to close this place for a month for rehabilitation. Today is the last day it is open, and it's like the last hour they're open too. The sun's about to go down and they're about to close. So we made it here just in time for the last hour of the last day that they're open. So let's go check this out. What's going on, Pam? My flip flop was breaking from here. I'll fix that and then it breaks from here. So it's really broken on all three sides right now. So it's like, oh, which side is broken now? Let me hold that for you. I just like to enjoy my cup of noodles. Oh my God, look at these animals. Oh my gosh. Ugh. What is that? Animals. 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 My flip flops died. Aww. They died? They died. Where'd they go? I put them at the top in a rock over there. I'll grab them on the way out. <laughs> so there's the beach. And here's the tide pool. And there's the Instagram. Boom, boom. Over here is where you can swim during low tide. You'll see a bunch of people throwing themselves off that rock. Um, and if you keep going that way, you'll see a big rock formation. Yeah. All right, that was just a quick trip here to Magpapunko. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is dark now. The sun has set, so we have a nice ride, probably over an hour back to General Luna in the dark. This is going to be fun. <laughs> we'll see you back in town. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I came prepared. I have a jacket, so I'm not that cold, but now everyone else is warming up out here because we just made it back and that ride was a little bit chilly. Come to the tropics, they said. It's gonna be fun, they said. This is the spot to get fruit shakes. You get this whole jug. I already poured some out in the glass, but this whole jug is 50 pesos. That's a deal. All right, peace out, guys. So this morning we woke up nice and early to drive to Pacifico to meet up with an organization called the Sun Crew. Today we joined them for a beach cleanup. 